Wow, look at this. Uh, this is one hell of a call out. Shots fired, shots fired. Hey, Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel, guys, where we showcase brand new mods and scripts and plugins from the LSPDFR.com site. And we got a brand new callout pack to showcase for you today called Maniac Callouts by Sputman. It's got seven callouts so far, and I have not done any of these callouts, so I figured you'd want to see you know, genuine reactions out of me whenever I do a callout pack like this. I will let you know if the callout pack is worth downloading or if it needs a hell of a lot of work. I will let you know that in today's video. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We do have a brand new rookie with us today. Hey, but what was your name again? His name is Officer Devinator for life. All right, very cool. We may just call him Officer Devin is what I'm thinking. Uh, sounds a little bit more formal, I guess. But uh, thank you, uh, Devin, for commenting in the last video. And if you guys would like to get featured in a upcoming video where you're an uh, officer, deputy, sergeant, uh, you know, agent, who knows what we're going to do right in the future. All you have to do is make a comment down below, and I'd greatly appreciate you doing that. And so, uh, Officer Devin and myself, we're going to get started out on patrol and get to these callouts and see what this callout is all about. Come on in, Devin. Oh, here we go. Uh, gain conflict, shots fired. Dispatch responding, code three. Hey, Devin, Officer Devin, hey, grab your uh, AR from the rack. Okay, we're going to go down here to shots fired. Uh, they've got a uh, gang shootout, basically. We're going to head on over here and see if what we can do. We do have our AR equipped. Okay, I do believe it's going to be over here to the right. Oh, that's going to be at the... Uh, uh, okay, Lost Gang area, right? Oh, yeah. Shots fired, shots fired. Jeez, man. That shot, Devin. Oh, man, get out of the way. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Oh, this is crazy. Stop traffic. Request some country back up. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, I think we may have gotten everybody. I love how everybody's just like casual, uh, still smoking their cigarettes. <laughs> All right, let's go look at the uh, the damage here. Oh wait, there's some more shots fired. Well, it's not code four yet. Oh, this would be a good uh, like. A uh, gang anti, like a gang shakedown or something like that, like a gang unit patrol. Dispatch, be advised, we got uh, multiple suspects down, multiple GSWs. That is crazy, man. Okay, we're gonna try to pick up as many weapons as we can off the ground. Now, normally I'd call for EMS, a bunch of other things, but that's just too much, you know? But th this right here probably take up half an episode right here. Okay, so that is that one, uh, like a gang shootout, if you will, right here in the... I really wish that these other people would have been shooting back, but I think, to be honest with you, I think the reason why they weren't shooting back, it might have been from Stop the Ped, possibly, uh, because they have like a comm feature inside Stop the Ped. I might be wrong on that, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of these officers, and we're going to go ahead and take on out of here. I want to keep showing you the rest of these callouts here. Clear traffic. We've got 
Oh, here we go. This is cool. A money truck, uh, panic button press. Dispatch responding code three. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, follow the GPS. Type of thing. We gotta get over there to see if we can find the money truck. Okay, it should be like right up here. And I'm curious to see, is this gonna be an actual money truck? Oh, it is. Oh, they've got, they've got two officers there. Okay, shots fired, shots fired. Okay, we got at least three people down, maybe four. Uh, no, three people down. What are you shooting at? What do you got? Anybody else over there? Oh, yeah. Somebody's still over here. I don't know if this is related or not. Probably. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. You guys, look. Shots fired. Oh shit. Assistance needed. Wish I had a rifle now. Okay, I'm not sure if we're code 4 or not. I think we are. Oh, this is an awesome call. I like this call. It looks like they're dressed in uh, like Arctic uh, SWAT gear or something like that. See, they're dressed like military gear or something. We got a tag right in the head. Okay, let's go ahead and check this uh, scene out over here. But this is an awesome call so far. We've got two officers down. Okay, I'm not sure if this guy right here is involved, but he got lit up like a Christmas tree. He probably was in the ro in the way. Okay, now normally I would call in the ambulance and everything like that. Oh, this guy got ran over. But I just want to evaluate the scene. This is an awesome call. I like this. So there's two Grup security guards, or a group, I should say, a group. <laughs> some people always correct me on that. Uh, they're down. I got some, uh, looks like tires shot out. Okay, everybody can leave. But we'll go ahead and clear out everybody uh, from the scene. And uh, this is a really cool call. I like this one so far. And let's go ahead and head on out. We've got in uh, Howick. Okay, suspicious activity reported. Howick. Dispatch responding code 2. Okay, so it doesn't give us a lot of details about what the suspicious activity is. Uh, so let's go ahead and head down here and see what this is about here. Okay, it should be up here to the right. And then I think it's another left. Maybe that car back over there is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet. But uh, let's take a look-see and see what this shows us here. Uh, no, it looks like it may be down the street. That's what it is. Uh, this call may be pretty cool during the night time, I'm thinking. Okay, we do have a vehicle right there that seems to be just kind of out of place, parked behind the business. Stop, and, uh, stop close, and walk to the vehicle to interact. Okay. Uh, I think I know what this is about. <laughs> I may have to do some blurring on this one. Uh, looks like I think... I think I know what they're doing in there. <laughs> Dispatch, show me 23, Lost Laguna's Boulevard. I have to do some YouTube editing. <laughs> okay, Devin. I'm not sure how old you are, Devin. Negative. I think we got this. 
Okay, let's go have a look. Uh, tell you what, this would probably be funnier at night, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's make it nighttime. There we go. Uh, we'll make it nighttime. That way we can you know, use our flashlights. I think it would look cooler. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing on this, so bear with me because I think I know what they're doing inside this car. All right. Hey, bud. Hey, can y'all stop for a second? You're going to keep going, huh? Okay. Hey, stop, man. Excuse me, stop with what you're doing, okay? He goes, damn. I was so close to being finished. Really? <laughs> you can't do this in public, all right? You ruined everything. Hey. Oh, you son of a... Ow, get him. You son of a bitch, man. He still had a crowbar in his hand, partner. Okay, let's go get her, too. Where'd she go? There she is. Dispatch, be advised, uh, he hit me with the crowbar right outside the head. I'm going to be chasing down the female uh, Laguna place. Hey, stop. Stop right there. Stay just like that and stay away, f uh, face away from me, okay? That way I don't have to blur too much. You stay just like that. Do not move. Stay right there. Hey, Devin, I'm going to do uh, lay hands on this. <laughs> that guy came out and hit me right in the head with that stupid crowbar. He almost killed me. That was close, guys. All right, come here with me. All right, I'm going to turn you this way. Give this man a show. Hey, you don't like what you see? All right, come on, Devin. I'm not sure how old you are, but you're not allowed to see this, okay? <laughs> All right, we need to go back and uh, make sure that guy is still dead, basically. Oh my gosh, this call is actually pretty funny. This is hilarious. Uh, he might need, uh, Sputman, if you're watching this, you might need to add a little feature in your I&I &I, uh, for people that make YouTube content to where it's safe for YouTube. But I, I don't know, man. I mean, well, then again, you know what? He did do that. I apologize. He did do that. So, Sputman, with this particular mod, guys, uh, you could turn these, uh, whatever callouts you want, off. So, if you are a YouTuber and you're watching this, thinking, well, I can never do this call type of thing, you could just turn it off in the I&I. &I, just t change it to false. All right, have a seat. Uh, we're going to get a female out here to pat you down, okay? Whoa, hello. I have to blur that. <laughs> I have to blur that one out. Okay, he's still he's still dead. Okay, but I think Dev Devin was actually trying to help me out best that he could. But yeah, I'd go through the whole process. I am kind of curious what's in the car, and what's on his person. Now, normally I wouldn't shoot someone while they're laying down like that, but we're just trying to get through the call out. All right, let's see what is in this car. I'm just curious. A swat, a scale coated with tan powder. Chuck Schul Schuldiner. Dispatch requesting female backup. I uh, lost Logan's Boulevard. We need an uh, officer Karen out here. <laughs> okay, let me look him up real fast. See what this looks like. Uh, next time, I'm gonna have to be a little careful, I guess, getting him out of there. Here's Chuck. I uh, never been arrested before. He was so mad. Okay, we're going to have a female officer come out and pat her down real fast. Okay, here comes Officer Karen, guys. Hey, step on out. Hey, Officer Karen, can you pat her down? Okay, I'm glad you're covering. Uh, let's see here. Who is going to pat her down? Okay, I think it's going to be this female right here. All right, pat her down. Sorry, I had to blur this out because she's completely nude, at, at least from the waist up, anyway. Lily Black. She had some wire cutters. How did, where, where were you keeping those? Actually, not. Never mind. I don't want to know. All right, come with me. We're going to put her in the back here. 
Okay, I'm glad you're on it. Crazy <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm glad Devin didn't say that. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Alright, you can go ahead and take her to jail. Okay, here's a call from Maniac Callouts. Uh, backup required traffic stop. Dispatch responding code 2. Okay, follow the GPS location, uh, respond with code 2. Okay. Uh, we're going to get over there to that particular uh, traffic stop just to help out another fellow officer. Uh, we're going to make a left right here. And they should be just right down the street back over on this side. Okay, as you can see, they've got a, uh, a vehicle stopped over here to the left, back over here. So we're going to pull around here and see if we can help out this officer. And it looks like he's getting pulled over in a bunch of parking spaces, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, assist this officer and see what he says. Dispatch, show me 23 Spanish Avenue, assisting another officer. Negative. Uh, we're going to be on Spanish Avenue. Uh, me and Officer Devin got this. Ten four. Okay, I think I can talk to this officer here. Hey, what's going on? How can I help you? Because I feel a little scared because last time I ended up in the hospital. Can you take care of it? Yeah, no problem. Any reason you made it to the stop or you pulled him over? So the driver was driving very slowly. Okay. Uh, the text, uh, the oh, he's driving off. Dispatch, we have a Dispatch uh, be advised, he's taking off. Come on. Why is he running? <laughs> Come on. There he goes. He's running after him, that's kind of funny. Dispatch, be advised, uh, we got a four-door, uh, it's going to be a black vehicle heading westbound Spanish Avenue. Dispatch, show me in pursuit. It's going to be a single occupant at southbound Puerto Rico Drive. Okay, let's just keep on going now. We're going to keep, uh, see if we can maybe pit him a little sooner than usual. But he just drove away. But my partner did smell alcohol. I could hear Devin say that. Uh, Devin was saying that he could smell alcohol coming from the driver, so he's probably going to be intoxicated more than likely. Dispatch requesting code 3 backup for this pursuit, westbound Heritage Way. Uh, we are continuing by the uh, movie studio area. Okay, we got authorization. We can uh, actually pit this vehicle now. Alright, yeah, we got her. Uh, give me your hands. Alright, get on your face. All the way down. All the way down. Screw you. Go through the car. There you go. What a jerk. That's so legit. She's dropping a Karen. Alright, she is under arrest. Dispatch, we have one detained. Uh Bay State Avenue for this act today. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this particular episode... Affirmative. It's going to be a BFA. Uh, Bay City Avenue, Playa, Playa Vista. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go through these pretty fast. As much as we can. So we're just going to go through this really fast here. I'm just kind of curious what she had in there. Uh, pump shotgun. Whoa, multiple fish carcasses. What? What, what is that about? Alright, we're going to go ahead and continue with all this, and I want to get to some of these other callouts so we can see what they're all about, okay? Oh, are you son of a... Oh, GPS tracker on a stolen vehicle, that's cool. Dispatch responding code 2. Okay, it's been a while since we actually seen a callout like this, so it's going to be a GPS tracker on, side of a st in, you know, on the side of a stolen vehicle. Uh, they have some of these uh, you know, GPS trackers, like uh, they can actually track down certain vehicles that are stolen. So we're going to go down here and see if we can locate this vehicle. It should be like right down the street here. 
Uh, this is not quite code two, but you know, we gotta get there. They're gonna be up here in front of us. Now, I'm not sure what kind of vehicle it is yet. But they just took a right. And I think they just took another right. And another right. Okay, they should be like right here. I'm gonna cut my lights, because I'm not sure what they're gonna do. They're probably gonna flee. But let's go ahead and light them up. Oh wait, that's... Yeah, it's this one here. Alright, let's try to light them up here. Let's see what they do. I'm always curious to see if they actually pull over or not. Okay, I'm trying to get him to pull over. Dispatch be advised that we got that stolen vehicle in the parking lot. Magellan Avenue. Right next to the uh, pier here. Okay, is he going to pull over? That's the question. It's occupied two times. All right, get down, man. Stop right there. Stop. Both of y'all. Everybody down. Get down, man. Get on your face. Oh, he just got hit by a car. Get on your face. All the way down. Okay, so uh, it's my job for this particular video. I want to see if everything is working correctly as well uh, to give you guys some input about this particular uh, call-out pack. All right, and then uh, this one right here, I'm going to have uh, Devin put her in some cuffs. Uh, let's go ahead and search this guy real fast. And then I want to do a 28 on this particular vehicle to make sure it is stolen. Stop Come traffic. On, I gotta move. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic control near Delta. Okay, so he had a little smog, small baggie of oxycodone. Dispatch requesting 28. Uh, it's going to be 85 Young Paul Victor 438. So I'm kind of curious. I want to make sure it's stolen. It's a banshee. Target vehicle license plate. Yeah, it's stolen. Nice. Eight five Young Paul Victor four three eight. A possible stolen vehicle. Okay, so that's good. It's good that the uh, vehicle actually came back stolen. So that's a good thing. Okay, they got a robbery in progress. Dispatch responding code three. Okay, now he just got through updating uh, this particular Maniac Callout as well, the Maniac Callouts uh, pack. Uh, he added uh, about 22, no, uh, 22 new locations for star, store robberies across the map, uh, more up north as well, is what I read in the patch notes. So let's head over to the store robbery real fast. Okay, there's a store over here to the right, I do believe. Probably one of these stores right here is being robbed right now. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Uh, maybe it's over here on the pier or the uh, yeah the boardwalk right here. Yeah, somewhere over here I think. I think they're inside. Oh, this this store right here is where it is. Right here, this tattoo uh, parlor right here, right here. Just about show me 23 in the area. Got a possible 211 going on. Oh, you got someone in there, Devin? Okay, somebody's in there. Affirmative. Requesting code 3 back up. Uh, we're going to be at Gungeon, a Gungeon Street and Magellan Avenue. Somebody is in here, and I don't know. Let's see if I can get a better look. Oh, he's standing on top of the thing. Okay, let's just go on in. Oh, I can't get through there? Oh, he won't let me through. Okay, what happens if I shoot through the glass? Oh, I can't shoot through the glass. 
Okay, well that's disappointing. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to code for this one. Uh, now will he go through, like, spawn outside? Is that what's gonna happen? But I'll have to show you the uh, bugs sometimes that occur, that occurs, you know, with callouts. But you can't shoot through this glass here. I don't think you can shoot through this glass either, right here. Nah. And I can't get through here. Now, I could, I could probably use a trainer or something like that uh, to get through the door, but I shouldn't have to do that. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to go ahead and code for this particular call and call this one done. Code for. All right, so that call, at least that particular store, is broken. It seems to be broken. But somebody is in there. I wonder if I can just go through there. He's trying to shoot through the thing now. See, he can't he can't shoot outside either. But uh, I can use my trainer to go through if I need to. <laughs> if I if I can. Uh, let's go through. We'll go through the door here. I need ammo. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I had a cheat there, okay? I had a cheat. <laughs> Alright, so we had to cheat to get through the door. But, yeah, you shouldn't have to do that with that particular uh, call out. So he might need to fix a few stores, is what I'm thinking. Alright, come on. I mean, I do appreciate that the fact that he added stores, but I think he might need to do a little bit more research on certain stores that, because uh, I have open all interiors installed. Uh, that should not happen, and I can't get through the door, you know what I mean? Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. I'm going to go ahead and give a rating for Maniac Callouts. I'm going to give this a four out of five stars. Uh, very well worth the download. It's got a high replayability, which means that every time you uh, take a particular call out from this particular pack, the scenarios could always be different than what you saw in today's video. So I want to make sure that you're aware of that. And then there's only a couple little small things that I hope he does fix. And that is the text at the bottom of the screen. Whenever you're interacting with the uh, traffic stop backup, I think it goes by a little bit too fast. So maybe you can slow that down just a hair would be nice. And then also the store robberies, maybe just make sure that some of the stores that you can actually enter if you need to, or if the suspect needs to leave the store to go on a pursuit or, or things like that, he might need to address those. But other than that, I think the call-out pack is very well worth it. It's a refreshing uh, you know, type of plugin that's on the ellisprettyfar.com site. Highly recommend it. And I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay North safe. 11, Adam 220, 272, Troll of the Person, 16th and 10, a male walking in traffic, asking me to pass the line. 228. 1546. Can you check if you have a control field with your phone on my phone? Yeah.